Hey everyone, welcome to another book miss video and today I'm really excited because I will be going book shopping and I also plan on going to the library and I really wanted to take you guys along with me. It was recently my birthday and I plan on buying books so let's just go and have a good time at the bookstore and then I will share with you all what I end up getting. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it's the next day. I didn't get a chance to film when I got home from the bookstore and I also didn't get a chance to film in the library. There were a lot of people and I felt a little awkward so I didn't film in the library but I did get a few things and I'm really excited to share them with you. Before I share the books that I got from the bookstore as well as the library, I do have another book that I got in the mail and my heart is just so full right now. And that is the second book in the Codebreaker series by Rosanna M. White. This is on Wings of Devotion and I got this from my amazing friend from Instagram. Her name is Joanne and if you don't follow her on Instagram, I'll leave her Instagram below. She is so sweet. She has such an amazing bookstagram account and I just I love Joanne so so much and she said hope you had the happiest of birthdays Miriam. Blessings from Joanne and her Instagram account is well read coffee addict and like I said she sent me this amazing book. I haven't read the first book yet but I do plan on reading it sometime in the next year and oh I'm just so so grateful for this. Rosanna M. White is a great author. Thank you again, Joanne. I'm so, so excited. Also, before I go over the books that I bought myself, I do want to share a couple books that I got from my sister for my birthday, as well as a book that I got for my cousin. And there's a whole story with that. The two that I got for my sister are these two by Elizabeth Fair. And these are modern classics. I believe they were both published in the 50s. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the covers of these. So the first one is Brampton Wick. And I've heard that this is so, so good. So funny and heartwarming. And then the other one is Landscape in Sunlight. And these are both from the Dean Street Press editions. And they're so, so cute. They all have like a house kind of look to them. And oh, I'm just, I'm so, so excited about these. And I definitely plan on reading them in the spring and summer of next year. So thanks so much to my sister. Okay, so this next book, I'm just so overwhelmed even now when I look at it. And that is The Night Ship by Jess Kidd. Jess Kidd is one of my favorite authors and the whole story behind this book. So my cousin who knows that I read, knows that I have a channel and is aware that I am just obsessed with books. He went to Indigo to, I guess, pick out a gift and he picked this off the shelves out of all the hundreds and maybe even thousands of books that are in Indigo. He picked this one, not knowing that it was on my Amazon wish list, not knowing that Jess Kidd is also one of my favorite authors and that this was one of my most anticipated releases for this year. And out of all the books that he could have picked, he picked this one. And yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I was so, so happy when I opened it. I was blown away and so grateful. This is a dual timeline, I guess, like mysterious slash magical realism, historical fiction. There's the 1600s and then the 1980s. And I don't know much else. I don't want to know too much going into it. But thanks to my cousin, I finally have this book and I'm just so, so grateful. 
Okay, so now I'll share with you what I got from the library. The first thing here is not a book, it's actually kind of a documentary, and that is Lucy Worsley's The 12 Days of Tudor Christmas. And it says, Lucy Worsley recreates how Christmas was celebrated during the age of Henry VIII, eating, drinking, singing, dancing, and partying like people did 500 years ago. I think it's gonna be such a fun documentary and I'm just so, so looking forward to watching it. These next two books I'm pretty sure I shared in my December TBR, but I'll share them here as well. And first we have Christmas Days, 12 Stories and 12 Feasts for 12 Days by Jeanette Winterson. This is just 12 short stories for the Christmas season. And I probably will start this before December 1st, just to kind of get a head start on some of these stories, but I've heard really good things about it. And I'm really excited to read through those stories. And also Eight Perfect Hours by Leah Lewis. And this is actually set in January. So it's after Christmas, but I heard it's a perfect, cute, wintry romance. And I'm really, really looking forward to trying it out. From the library, I also got Nutcracked by Susan Adrian. And this is a middle grade retelling of the Nutcracker, which you probably already know is my favorite Christmas story. So really looking forward to trying this out. And it's a really short story and it's just so cute. I can't wait to try this. Okay, and moving on to the books that I got from Indigo. First off, we have the third book in a mystery trilogy and I did order books one and two, but they got lost in the mail somehow. And so I'm still waiting for them. And the third book is Cider Shop Rules by Julie Ann Lindsay. I read the first book, which is Apple Cider Slaying in October and absolutely adored it. And I needed the entire trilogy. So I ended up ordering books one, two, and three. Still waiting on book one and two, but I now have book three to add to my shelves. I also ended up getting Noel Streetfield's Christmas Stories. And this is a short collection of children's Christmas stories. And I heard of this from Kate Howe's channel. She mentioned this in one of her Christmas book recommendations video, and I'll link that video in the description box. And yeah, this just sounds so, so precious. So hoping to read this around the Christmas season as well. I also got three more Agatha Christie's to add to my collection. The first one is a collection of short stories and they're all Poirot short stories. And that is Murder in the Muse. Like I said, it is four cases of Hercule Poirot. So looking forward to this. I don't really have the best of luck with Agatha Christie's short stories, but I'm hoping I'll enjoy at least one of these. <laughs> and then two more Poirot books. We have Five Little Pigs and Peril at End House. And I'm not gonna be reading the backs of these because I generally don't with Agatha Christie. I go in as blind as possible. So now I have some more Agatha Christie's to add to my growing Agatha Christie collection. I forgot to mention another gift that I was sent in the mail by an amazing subscriber. And the book is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This is such a beautiful, beautiful book and I cannot wait to read it. Rebecca Ross is an auto buy author for me, 100%. I wanna read everything that she comes out with. And this is from the amazing Nicole who has been commenting on my videos for so, so long. Thank you so much, Nicole. She said, congratulations on a thousand subscribers. Thank you for blessing us with great content and for fueling our love of books from Nicole. Lilac Cottage is her channel name, but Nicole, thank you so, so much. I'm so, so excited to have this book and I cannot wait to read it. I also picked up The Ice One by Janelle. I'm not even gonna try. But this book I have heard really good things about and it has to do with ballet and Russia and it just seems so wintry. So I will definitely try to read it sometime this winter. It says, amid the violent last days of the glittering Russian monarchy, a princess on the run finds her heart where she least expects it. So it looks like it's set during the Russian revolution in the 1910s. So really, really looking forward to it. This next book is one that I have been waiting for for months. I have been anticipating this book's release for so, so long. And it finally came out just around my birthday, which is perfect. And that is Heart of the Sun Warrior by Su Lin Tan. This is the second book in the Daughter of the Moon Goddess duology. And I cannot wait to read this because the first book... Oh man, it was so good. And I really, really need to get to this one soon. So also this cover is absolutely stunning. Such a good first book and I cannot wait to get into this one. I also got the second book in another duology and that is The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. This is the second book after, what was the first one? Six Crimson Cranes. And I loved Six Crimson Cranes. It was such a cute YA fantasy. It really felt like a Disney movie for me. And I just cannot wait to get back into the story with these characters. The first one was just so good and I really, really need to read the second one. So, so, so excited to finally have that as well. All right, so those are all the books that I have recently acquired. I had so much fun at the bookstore and the library. And I'm also so grateful for the bookish gifts that I received from a few of you. And thank you again for everything and just for making this community so amazing. Each of you are so special to me, even those who watch but don't comment. Just the fact that you watch my videos means so, so much. So 
Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in my next bookmas video. Bye.